In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to set up a calendar planner inside of Microsoft Publisher. So we're going to go to more blank page sizes, and we want to set this up as a booklet. And for today's tutorial, we're going to be using a half letter booklet. So double click that. It's automatically going to lay out four pages for us since we will be working in booklet form. So anytime we add a page, it's automatically going to ask us to add four. <clears throat> now I already know that this calendar planner is going to have over 80 pages, so we might as well start out with 80 pages just for fun. And we can insert more pages later if we need them. So go ahead and go to the insert tab page and insert page. We've already got four so we're gonna need 76 more and we just want to insert blank pages. Now as we know a calendar planner is gonna have a month view spread and it's also gonna break things down by the week so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on one half of the page and Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday on the other half of the page. So one thing we could do is we could go ahead and design out each month and then copy and paste it, design out a week and copy and paste it to each page, but that's a lot of work. So what we're gonna take a look at doing is using master pages to automatically add elements to these different pages. Now obviously page one is gonna be our front cover that's why it's just showing a half page. And then pages two, three, four, five, all of those are going to be our spreads. Now the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and set up our master pages. So from the page design tab, we're gonna go all the way over here to the right, click on master page and we can see that there's already an A master set up and one that says none. We're gonna go ahead and go to edit master pages. We're specifically looking at spreads. We're gonna right click below the A master and say add a new master page. Now it's automatically going to assign it B as the main character, but we can give it a description. So let's call this one month view. And we're going to make it a two page master. We'll go ahead and say OK. And then we're going to add a C master and we're going to call this week view. Go ahead and say OK. Now from the B master, we're going to work on the month view first. We can grab a hold of the blue line, which is going to be the margin line on the back of the page. It's a kind of a guide, but it's not, not exactly the same. It's, we're going to drag that out to a quarter inch. We notice that it happened on the exact opposite side of the page. It did the exact same thing for us. So watch that one move as we move the top margin of the page down to quarter inch. If I can get it to go. Sometimes it's a little hard. So I'm going to show you another way that we can do this. I'm going to let go of that. And we're going to drop the bottom down to a quarter of an inch. Now the reason that I'm doing that is because um, printers do not print all the way to the edge of the page. So we want to make sure that we don't design anything out here. We want to leave this as white space. We'll talk about full bleed designs in another tutorial if you did want to run something all the way to the edge of the page. It's a little bit more tricky. Another thing that we can do here though is we can go over to page design margins and we can say custom margins and it should have brought up uh, well let's go to custom margins right here there we go. So we can see that it says outside, top, and bottom, and these are not exact. So I'm just going to copy and paste the 0 0.25, 0 0.25. The, we want that inside gutter area right in here 
we want that to remain at a half an inch because this is going to be a coil bound book and we need some room there we don't want to chop into our design when we put our coil in so go ahead and say okay now there's a lot of different ways that you can uh, plan out your calendar how you want your design and stuff to look um, the easiest way that I have found is to find a, a design that you already really like and then just put your design over top of it basically you're copying another design so you can get this just by going out to Google and looking for different ideas for calendars and you might use several different uh, designs off of you know several different calendars and you'll use certain elements that you really like I already have one that I want to use so I'm gonna go to the home page or home tab uh, click on pictures and uh, let's go from file I'm gonna jump out here to our screen capture folder we're working on the month view so we're gonna go ahead and drop that in place now this isn't going to be exact it's so gonna go ahead and we can see as I drag it out it's, it's not fitting on the page real well so I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this out and I don't care that it's going out into the bleed or out into the margin there because I can see that this line is gonna end up pretty close to the margin but this will at least give me an idea of what all I need to have on my page and then I can delete this background out later so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and create this line that goes across the page we can do that from the home tab and click on shapes we'll go to a rectangle and I'm actually gonna run it off the page just for kicks it doesn't need to but we're gonna do that we'll go ahead and drag that out there we go we're gonna change the fill and I'm gonna go with like an 85 percent gray so we'll go there and no outline awesome that's looking good next we're gonna create all these little squares we do that once again from the home tab and we're gonna use the table it is five rows down four across very good and we're just gonna bring that in until it snaps into place see how the blue line is lit up and we got a pink line right underneath that shape we created we're gonna drag this down till it hits the bottom and we're gonna drag it over until it hits that blue line as well now when we get the four little arrows that show up on the side we can right click on it say format table we're going to put borders all the way around and we're gonna make it half a point go ahead and say OK and now we're gonna get these ones in home tab table uh, five down three across go ahead and move it into place uh, whoops that's not where we wanted it that's where we want it and to about there and we're gonna do the same thing here format the table make sure it's half a point and okay now the only things that we're going to be putting inside of this master page are things that do not change so uh, we obviously we don't want to write in September because that's going to change on every single calendar and on every single page that has a month view we also don't want to put the numbers in because that's going to change on every single one of the pages uh, this element will stay the same so we can go ahead we're not going to put the, the numbers in but we can at least put the background in place so once again home shapes this time we're going to use the rounded corner rectangle and we'll go ahead and drag that out well, that looks about good shape fill once again 80% or 85% gray and no outline and then we can create the outlines for these little calendars here once again home tab shape rounded rectangle 
drag that out. This time we want no fill and we want the outline to be that 85%. Now what we can do here is we can hold down the control and shift key. We get a little plus arrow or a little plus next to our arrow and we can just click and drag and it's going to keep it right in line with that. We don't want it to go too far out there so you saw the little blue line show up. That was good. We'll go ahead and let go of it. We might even um, select the two of these at the same time and just drag them up until it bumps into the top green or the top blue line there. There we go. Same thing with this one over in the corner is we're just going to drag it until it hits the blue lines. All right, we can put the days of the week in. So those are going all the way across the page here. And the way that we can do that is once again using a table. So we'll go to our home tab, grab a hold of a table. This time we're going uh, one row high and four across. There's our table right there. And we're just going to go ahead and line it up right here. There we go. And inside of this box here, we're going to go ahead and set it to a line in the center. And what do we have here? We have Sunday. We want that text to actually be white. So we'll go back to the Home tab change this to white. Um, I also want to use Arial and I think we can get away with uh, let's go with 11 point and we may even bold that. There we go. Now we can actually copy this come over here and paste it and then just now we've got all the formatting that we had we just change the change the text center it paste see if I can figure out how to spell here whoops we want to paste first Now we're going to do the same thing over on the other side of the page, so we need to now go ahead and create another table. This one is going to be three. We'll see it actually snap into place there. Drag this out until it snaps. There we go. Once again, we can just copy, uh, copy and paste. We've already copied it, so let's go ahead and paste. Here's Thursday. And Friday. Whoops. Paste first. And once again, paste. All right, I think we have all of the elements that are not going to change from day to day. So now we can click the background and delete it out, and voila, look at that. Now we can design um, on each individual page something that we want to put over here. And I think um, I'm going to get a, I'm going to zoom in on this if we can. Uh, and I think I'm going to pull this in. That way we don't have. Uh, anything out here in the margin. We'll go to the other side. There we go. We can go back to full page or reviewing the whole page just by clicking that little button. And there we go. So we'll look at setting up uh, the week view probably in, an, in the next tutorial. It's going to be a multi-part tutorial but I wanted to show you real quickly how we can now add the master pages. So go back to master page go ahead and say close master page. So if page two and three is going to be our month view, 
we just right click on it go to master pages and go to month view and it automatically drops all of those elements onto the page so in part two of this tutorial we'll take a look at creating the week master page and then we'll start putting our calendar together and we'll also visit uh, some questions that I've already had about moving pages around and uh, any other questions that come in at the same time. So I will see you in the next tutorial.